Um, question of the day, Nick. This one's brought to us by Brackish Life. I'll read the ad after you're done. Sounds good. So I actually have two. So real quick, hockey trivia one. Who is or was, I'm not going to give it away, the longest serving captain in NHL history? Hmm. Which conference did this guy play for? Hang on. Let me. In the last, uh, if I give you that answer, it's going to give it away. Okay. okay. I could be stupid. And this is a random name. What, I'm not saying this is my answer. One of the names that pops up is Dave Anderchuk. I don't know why. Okay. It's not Dave Anderchuk, but I would not have thought you would have come up with that one. <sighs> Longest tenured captain. Mm. I'd also love to see where Sid ranks in this. He's got to start be getting up. Think there. about teams that were really good for a really long time. Is it Wayne Train? Wayne Gretzky? Nope. Is it? Because it's uh, longest serving with one team. Like if you move teams, oh. like technically that's, yeah. Nick Lidstrom. Close. Ugh. I, eyes guy? Yep. Stevie Y. Oh, 20 years. Okay. Wow. Right? Whoa, 20 shit. years? Yeah. Jesus. That's insane. Um, so yeah, good job, boys. Uh, and then my non hockey related one is I know we all have bucket lists, so dig into that bucket list and give me one thing that you must do before your time is up. Huh. Jay, you can go yeah. first if you have one. Sure, put me on the spot for this one first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hard hitting question here, eh? Um, I'd have to say, uh, probably. Make it to Italy one day. Okay. Travel from like Milan down to Rome and then down to Sicily, where uh, my mom's side of the family is from. So very nice. Just make a full trip of Italy. It was one day. Anything like specific in there you want to do, or just like eat your way through the country, which is what oh, I feel like I would do. Eating, eating all the pasta, pizza, and gelato that I can. There you go. It sounds like a hell of a life. Yeah. yeah. After, especially after watching uh, White Lotus here, Italy looks like a time, <laughs> must say. So um, I'll give one kind of unrelated hockey one and un- one hockey related one. So for unrelated to hockey, I would love to go with my mother to Madrid. Uh, nice. That's where her, that's where her mom's from. We have cousins over there that I've never met. So, like, that would be really cool. I've never been to Spain. That's definitely my number one bucket list item. That would be incredible, dude. Secondly, I would love to be at a game where the Stanley Cup is won and see it in person with the celebration and everything. That would be one of the coolest things. Ideally with the Penguins, maybe with Sid. We don't have much time left here. Uh, But if it wasn't, I wouldn't be that mad. You know, it'd still be cool to see. Right. What if it went against them? How would you feel about that? Uh, oh. We don't go there. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's erased from the memory bank. So I think I would have to say like easy sporting event for me is easy. It's the Indy 500. I've always wanted to go. I'll get there at some point. And then mm-hmm. non sports related, I would say uh, getting in a cage and doing like the great white shark diving thing. I've always wanted to do that. Oh, a little birdie told me that uh, you might be going to a different 500 race. Is that accurate? That bird is uh, correct in okay. uh, in telling you that I am going to Daytona in February for the 500. So that is going to be Let's one go. hell of a time, my friend. I haven't been since I was two, so I'm excited to go back. Damn! Oh, you're gonna have a blast. Yeah, Real fun. No fun will be had at all. Business <laughs> trip. Business trip. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, 